song, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakadash, the honors to my elders and apostles, great millstone, peace and blessings to the whole elect of Israel. And today I wanted to talk, I wanted to touch on the future of Edom. And before I touch on that, man, I want to talk about our people real quick, man. Before I start, before I start on this, these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the true biblical Israelites, man. You know, anytime, you know, I'm at camp with the Dallas brothers, man, and the, and Jake walk up, they always worried about, okay, what about the white man, you know? What about Esau? What about Edom? Can they be saved? Can they be saved? You know, and, and, the, and the thing is, the thing is, uh, you know, the white man not worried about you, man. He wasn't worried about us in slavery. He wasn't worried about us when 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 Moses and the and the, uh, and the rest of Israel was trying to get across the King's Highway. He wasn't worried about us then, and he's showing the hell ain't worried about us now. So why the fuck are you trying to save a, a nation of people that couldn't get two shits about you, man? Do you know the kind of things they was doing to us in slavery, man? Castrating our men, killing, cutting out the fetus out the woman. While she was still alive, and stomping on that fetus, using our their, our our children for alligators bait, butt breaking buck breaking our men, which is raping our men in front of their 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 families, so I kill. having their having the the man child have sex with the mother, and the, them not unknowing and ha and get her impregnated just to see what the hell will come out the other end. You know how wicked that is, man. Forcing us to break the laws and the laws, statutes, and commandments. So you how about Shem Yahweh Shah, man? Beating our language and heritage out of us, and then throughout the generations and generations, our, our people will forget who we are. Nevertheless, man, I'm just you know I'm gonna start off on where I wanted to start off at the beginning of this lesson. This is and the, just these scriptures gonna speak for themselves, man. This is Revelations thirteen and nine. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth in, into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and faith of the saints. That's a who that leadeth who who led us into, into captivity, man. In, in this time around. The so-called white man, man. He led the slave, the transatlantic slave trade, man. He 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 genocided, damn near genocided all you Native Americans, and in the and uh, you Negroes and lot and you so-called Negroes and Latinos, you niggas went into in, into hardcore bondage, man. And to and to this day, you are in you are in bondage. You're not in you're not in physical hardcore bondage, but you are in slavery, man. It's mental now. And like, and like I said before in my, one of my last videos, it's worse. Once they, once they, once they, they as long as they have the, 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 the 12 tribes of Israel confused, man, we can never come back to, to Yahweh Bashem HaOshah. Unless the, unless the Yahweh Bashem HaOshah wills it. And, the, and and this time that we in right now, man, Yahweh Bashem HaOshah is willing it. And Yahweh Bashem HaOshah's name is being pushed out into this earth again, man. We're starting to remember our power. And any time in history, any time we called on, on on our power, Yahweh Bashem Shah, man, we hey, he heard us. You go go read the book of Judges. The whole thing, and you and, and my and on the words I just spoke, well, you know, well, you will understand. Then let's just say that. And then you know, the next scriptures I want to get, I want to start off in Isaiah 14 chapter. Let me get it real quick. Isaiah 14 and 1. I'm going to stop at 21. I don't, expect, I don't expect this lesson to be that long. It's probably going to be around about 15 minutes. So uh, it's not going to be too long. 
this is Isaiah 14 and 1. For the, for Yahweh, Bashim Shah, will have mercy on Jacob, Israel, and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, Jerusalem, Israel. And the strangers shall be joined with them. The strangers, that's the Edom and the other nations. And you're going to see why and see how in the next verse. And they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them, the people, Israel, and bring them to their place, and to, to, and to, <laughs> and to Israel, the land. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Yahweh by Shem in, in the land of the Lord, if you, you know, for servants and handmaids, for servants and handmaids, for bond men and bond women. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were right now. This is talking about the future right here. You know, so whose captives are we today? We are the captives of mainly Edom, Esau, Edom, and the other nations. But the Lord is going to flip that. As soon as, as soon as Yahweh Shah comes back and cracks those clouds, hey, that's it for that's it for for these for Esau and these other natures, man, and they gonna know that in that time. Whose captives they were, they shall rule over their oppressors, and then it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give the the rest from thy sorrow, and from thy fear, and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon. Is Babylon, great Babylon, and say how, and say how has the oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased, Yahabashim and Shah has broken the staff of the wicked, and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath, with a continual stroke, he that ruled ruled the nations in anger, and persecuted the and non hindered. I Meaning he didn't give he didn't give no one no break, man. That's how that's how Edom do. You saw go around with his military just taking people other nations shit, man. Putting that little own military bases in the, in, in uh in other countries' land. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yeah, the fir trees rejoice at thee in the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down. No feller is come up against us. Hell from beneath is moved from thee to meet the thee at thy coming. It's not talking about no no place under the ground, man. It stareth up the dead for thee. Hell means the grave, by the way. Or the pit. Even all the chief ones of the earth, it has raised up from their thrones and all the kings of the, of the nations. All they shall speak and say unto thee. Art thou also become as weak as we? He the salt saying, Oh, hey Edom, has y'all have you become as weak as we are, man? Kind. In that time, yeah, they how gonna be as weak as them? Because right now, Esau Edom, they ruling, they ruling. But when the Lord come back, he gonna cast them niggas down, man. <clears throat> Art thou become like unto us? The Pompey. The pump is brought down to the, to the grave. In the noise of the vows, the worm is spread. The worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Now, Lucifer is not Satan in the scriptures. Lu there, Lucifer, the word Lucifer means light bearer. Light bearers, there's light bearers of the wicked and light bearers of the righteous. The light bearers of the righteous. Or the Israelites, the right bears of the wicked, or the Edomites. Son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, who, which did is weaken the nations? <laughs> when did they weaken the nations? When they first dropped those bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, fat boy and little man, or whatever they were called, yeah, the nations became afraid, man. They was like, oh. America has all this great power, you know. They were sorely afraid, man. They didn't. Everybody didn't have nukes, you know, 
or anything like that back then, man. So the Lord had increased increased Esau's blessing in that in that time, man. Now Esau dumbass is giving giving his giving his blessing away to all the nations. And now all the nations got his blessing, man. Esau's a fucking idiot, man. <laughs> For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars. Yeah, this is this is this. I'm going to read that again. For thou hast said in thine mind, in thine heart, which, which in the Hebrew is lob, which means mind, I will ascend into heaven, into the uttermost parts of the earth, which is in the sky. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High, and I will sit, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north, the north country, which is America. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Now that's what they—that's why they're gonna end up trying to push this RFID microchip, man, which is the mark of the beast. They want to be like the Most High. That RFID chip gonna have a gonna be implanted in your hand. You're not gonna be able to cut it out. It's gonna extend, extend it to your into your flesh, so you're not gonna be able to just cut it out. And if you do cut it out, it's gonna have a cyanide capsule in it. And you trying to cut it out, it's gonna that cyanide capsule is gonna pop through in throughout your body, and you're gonna die instantly. Everybody should know what cyanide poison it is. It's gonna it's gonna go it's gonna flow quickly. You're not gonna have time to react. And they're gonna be able to track you on that. You're not even gonna be really uh, really be able to go anywhere without them knowing. You're not gonna be able to go anywhere without them knowing. You're gonna be their slaves, man. In a way, the Lord looks at it, you know, talking to you Israelites, because that's all really who I'm always talking to, man. This is my people. You know, once you get that implanted into your skin, that's like making a covenant with Esau, Edom. And what's, what's, the, what's the first commandment? You know, we're paraphrasing, there shall be no other gods before me. Thus said Yahweh Shah. And you putting that in your skin is basically telling, hey, Yahweh Shah, you basically giving them the middle finger, man. If thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit, they, and they that see thee shall never look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness and destroys the cities thereof? That open not the houses of his prisoners, all the kings of the nations, even all of them lay in the glory, every one is in his in his own house. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch, and as the remnant of those that are slain thirst through with a sword that go down to the stones of the pit, as a carcass trying underfoot. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renewed. In the kingdom of heaven, when all this is said and done, Yahweh is going to put the spirit on the elect men, the 144,000, to gather up the whole nation of Edom and put them in a big-ass pit of fire. And they're going to be cast away forever, man. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquities of their fathers, of their forefathers. That they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. That's a destroyed nation, man. Completely. In a thousand years time, the, 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 the nation of Edom will be extinct. This is Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel twenty five and twelve. I'm going to end at fourteen.
thus said the thus said Yahweh Power, the Lord God, because that because that Edom has dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and hath greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Yahweh Hashem Power, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from Teman. Teman was uh, a place in Edom, a, a city in Edom. And, the, and they of the Dan shall fall, fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people, Israel. And they shall do an Edom in Edom according to my, according to my anger and, a, and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance. Thus said Yahweh by Shema was shot thy power, man. And I'm ending it off with this one. And, and Job. You know, these are really self-explained self scriptures, man. Once you get really down in the nitty-gritty of these scriptures, man, it becomes more out there to you, man, if you really just listen. This is Job. Oh, slap this, slap this. Job 18 and 16. Is it there? It's Job 18 and 16. Okay, I'm going to start it. It's like, it's like, give me one second. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna start at 15. It shall dwell in his tabernacle because it, because it is none of his. Brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation, fire and brimstone, those nuclear missiles. Its roofs shall be the, the, shall be dried up beneath, and above all his branch branch be cut off. His remembrance shall perish from the earth, and he shall have no name in the streets. He shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world. Oh, I'm going to continue. He shall neither have son nor nephew among his people, nor any remain, remaining in his dwellings. They that come after him shall be astonished at, the, at his day, as that they went before were of right, of frightened. Surely such are the dwellings of the wicked, that this is the place of him that knoweth not the Most High. So like I said before, you know, like the scriptures say, in that time in the kingdom of heaven, Yahweh Bashim Hawashah is going to put the spirit on his men, the 144,000. And we're going to gather you so called, you self proclaimed white people up as our nation. And we're going to put you in a fiery pit. And that's going to be the end of you forever, man. And peace is going to reign throughout the universe, man. Not just the, not just the earth, man. The, to the universe, man. But the earth is gonna also rejoice in your downfall, man. Because they the, the earth's been writing on, on y'all downfall since the beginning. And with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem Dash. Double honors to my elders and apostle Gray Millstone. Salutations to the rest of you brothers for pushing this truth with sincerity. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of Israel. Shalom. On to the next one.